loud. So we're not going to have the interview yet, but uh, Adam and his magical ball, otherwise known as Alpha Sphere, Adam Alpha Sphere, is going to do a little performance of his magical ball. So maybe you can just tell us a few words about what it is, and then you can show us how it works. Okay. Okay, sure. A warning, this has absolutely fuck all to do with the internet of things. <laughs> but that comes later. It, it, has, it has absolutely fuck all to do with the internet of things, yet. Oh, oh, version, oh like, version you should two. be talking to Nick's play then. Well, I see some collaboration. We, we can talk about version 2 later. So um, this is the Alpha Sphere. This is a this is a new electronic musical instrument and controller. And essentially, this was born out of the realization that uh, there, there there isn't an expressive um, instrument for modern music production. Like keyboards, that's the current uh, industry standard and ubiquitous in the studio. Uh, it was originally designed, you know, for the organ. The the human interface um, is based more around the strings that are being triggered inside uh, using the hammers rather than uh, a genuinely expressive interface for controlling the kind, the rich sounds that are available in modern music production. So it's, a, it's an idea that I had at university and it's ended up taking me all over the world um, and, and, and founding this, this crazy business that makes and sells these things. So um, without further ado, I'll give you uh, a, an example of uh, its capabilities. Oh, you won some mega award in the UK, right? Um, well, I don't know if it's mega award. Um, I mean, sound big in Hong Kong. So yeah, I mean, I it ended up. So I, I won this competition that was sponsored by um, UKTI. That's like the kind of Invest the equivalent Kong. of Invest Hong Kong in the UK. And then they they ended up kind of jetting me to over Japan with um, with the British Prime Minister. Um, where we signed our first distribution deal, which was in, in Japan, which was you know one of those kind of crazy things that 
got the whole business going um, in the first place. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was it was a, I mean, basically, uh, you know, I mean, it was it's been really well received all over the world. We've had videos that have racked up millions of views. But you've moved to Hong Kong, right? I've now moved to Hong Kong. Excellent. And decision. yes. Was um, Singapore ever like kind of calling and saying come down? Um, yeah. well, <laughs> actually, so, no. so you turned down Tokyo for Hong Kong. Well, even better. <laughs> the thing, the thing is, is like because because we're doing production in mainland China, like Hong yeah. Kong's kind of the obvious choice. I mean, at the end of the day, it's about speed and uh, agility and being able yeah. to you know have an idea and make it quickly um, and be competitive in in a global marketplace. So Hong Kong was the obvious choice in the end. So you're going to connect this to the internet version too, right? Um, well, actually, yes, potentially. I mean, actually, our second product is an IoT product, so okay. it is actually um, it's about it's all about online music collaboration. It's actually completely different from this, but it has What's technology. That one this is called the Alpha Sphere. Oh, it's like brilliant. alphabet and sphere, so the idea is it's an nice. alphabet of sound. So you're giving away one of these for the lucky draw, is, it? is that so, right? Well, we're, we're actually giving away one of the, the brand new entry-level models that's going to be um, going to be shipping. Uh, we're expecting uh, the ship date to be this uh, this summer. So um, we'll for whoever wins the lucky draw, we'll email you a voucher code, and you'll be able to have um, a, a brand new entry-level alpha sphere. You'll be one of the very first people in the world to have one of these products. So who wants to buy one of these? Yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. One. We got one order. Any more? Two. Do I see two? Three, three. Do I see four? Four. Do I have five? Five, five, five. Going, going once, going twice. Five. Five it is. We should do an auction for this later. It's not his interview, but yes, you can ask him a question. You are the owner of this bar. <laughs> Victor, by the way, everybody. Victor, say thank you. Model and, uh, it, I, I believe this is the pro model. Right? So this is, well, this is the pro sumo model. Um, so this is like sumo. Does it pro su sumo. Oh, pro sumo. Pro right. sumo. Yeah. Japanese influence. No, no, no. <laughs> right. Not the pro sumo. Can no you put two of them together. <laughs> Potentially. Yeah. That might be an interesting um, online battle as well. Yeah. Musical. Yeah. Sphero. Do you ever see the Sphero? Sphero. Is well, Alpha, Alpha Sphero is, yeah. you know. Uh, as in, you know, Guitar Hero, Alpha right. Sphero is um, actually something that we're working on. Um, so watch this space. Um, so sorry, let's back to Victor's question. Um, Victor, yes. So the difference, well, the, the fundamental difference between the Pro models and the um, entry level model is uh, is is the size. Um, it's a slightly smaller product. It's got less pads. The entry level model's got 32 pads. It's got 48. The pads have got a little bit less depth, um, but they've actually got the same amount of resolution, uh, technically. So you can, you know, you can control music in the same way, but you don't have as much uh, expression to play with physically. All right. So where can we find you? What's the website called? Uh, so our website is alphasphere.com. Alphasphere.com. Yes. Not .hk. .com. Not .hk. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Not yet. Well, we'll bring you back when you, once we start selling it. But a round of applause for this. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so uh, whilst this is being removed, uh, we've got a few few words about some upcoming events. Douglas, where are you? Douglas? Douglas is going to tell us about this event. Um, so if you're in e-commerce, or you do anything kind of technology-wise that you want to get into the retail industry, worth coming to this event. But Douglas is going to tell you a little bit about it, because we're giving away, they're giving away free tickets to the event. So Douglas, over to you, man. That one. You can stand under the light, in the light. Um, can you hear me or do you need this? No, we want to hear you. Here's that one. Thanks. Um, so I've got to follow that. Uh, I have nothing that's at all interactive. This will be uh, very short to the point. Um, the retail market, I think, in the last 10 years has changed significantly. We've gone from a bricks and mortar scenario to online, to smartphone purchases, to companies like DFS trying to understand what the younger demographic is trying to, what their key buying signals are and what's going to draw them into the shops to fundamentally buy stuff. And so what we do at the Omni Channel One Day Conference, which is a has very kindly pointed out, is look at the whole retail scenario from the